welcome back to Cotton Creations. And today I am super excited because I have a really, really, really special guest. Hi, I'm Shanice's mom. That's right, it's my mom. She's here visiting me and she has been a tremendous influence on me as far as uh, cooking and just, you know, getting creative in the kitchen. So of course, I had to put her to work and I asked her to do a couple of her popular recipes, which she has a ton of, um, but I wanted her to do a couple and veganize them for me. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And today we're gonna be doing collard green egg rolls. And yes, they are vegan. Um, so if you're interested, please stay tuned. Oh, and before we jump into the video, make sure you subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, thank you so, so much for all the love and support. All right, let's hop into the video. So to get started, we're gonna saute our mushrooms in a little bit of oil and salt and pepper. Next, we're going to fry our bacon. I like the Sweet Earth Benevolent Bacon. It tastes really good, and I usually get it from Target. Um, and you can find it at other places, like some Whole Foods, some Sprouts. Um, but yeah, any of those like specialty stores usually has it, but Target definitely does too. Okay, mom, tell them what's next. Well, now we're going to crumble up our vegan bacon into pieces so we can have that all ready to go inside of our egg rolls. So we're going to be using these vegan egg roll wrappers by Twin Dragon. I found them at Gelson's Market. And we also are going to be using some fresh uh, cooked collard greens. I did not do it on camera, so if you guys want my recipe, drop me a comment down below and let me know. And you have to make sure that all the juice is drained out of the collards. So if you have some cheesecloth or a paper towel, you can actually place them in there and you can actually squeeze all of the juice out of those collard greens. Just a note, make sure you let your collard greens cool down before you go squeezing the juice because we don't want you to get 100 degree burns. Now we're going to start filling our egg roll wrappers. Um, take some collard greens and put it in the center of the wrapper. Um, you can actually put in any vegetable that you would like. We're going to do mushroom and bacon in ours. And you can follow the instructions on how to wrap an egg roll wrapper on the back of the package. Um, so what we're doing, we're sealing ours with water at the very end. And then we're going to roll it in cornstarch, which actually helps it to be crispy as you fry it. So it's my turn to give it a try. And as you can see, Mom is over here bossing me around. I think she's really enjoying it. You enjoying bossing me around, Mom? This is the only time I get a chance to do it. Yeah. I have. Oh, y'all hear that excitement in her voice? So once the oil is nice and hot, you want to go ahead and drop in your egg rolls and let them get nice and crispy and golden brown. And once they're done, you want to go ahead and place them either on some paper towel or rack so that the oil can drain. And then go ahead and take a bite and enjoy. So this is like a blooper. Um, Mom kept forgetting that she was filming and on camera and I had to remind her. <laughs> so that she wouldn't just walk away from the camera. Sorry. <laughs> All right guys, what do you think of this vegan recipe? It's pretty simple, easy, straightforward, and pretty quick. Pretty quick. So 
I think we should go ahead and dive into it and just try some. Um, should we try the mushroom ones or the bacon ones? Let's do the mushroom. Oh, mom said I should have cut it on the diagonal. Okay, no, that's how you do it. Sorry. That's okay. Do you guys see that? Yeah. Egg roll, collard green, and mushroom. Mmm. Mmm. You did that. This is good. You did that. Hey, she did that. I get it from my mama. Hey. Um, so yeah. One second. It's rude to talk and eat. Or eat and talk. One of those. One of those. So. You talk, I eat. If you guys want to check out the recipe, the link to the recipe will be in the description box below. You can print it or download it for free. So. Let me know what you think of the recipe. Drop me a comment down below. If you like the video, you already know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you subscribe. And thanks for watching.